Hello book givers and book receivers. This is Marie again from Hand Me Another Book. Yes, I'm coming back. It's December. One of my most favorite months aside from my birth month which is October. Ito yung nililook for work ko. The last month of the year pero merong festivities. This is the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Yes, holiday feelings and um there's this spirit of giving also. You know, I'm into advocacy of giving books. Yes, if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Or um, just know me well, okay? So my motto is don't just be a reader, be a giver. One good thing that I'm happy about the pandemic is the uh, increasing number of book lovers and book readers from book form naging book dragon. Mga ganang ng ano, factor. And talagang naging trend na ang maging book lover. So nakakatuwa lang isipin na at least may positive thing na nangyari during pandemic. Kasi syempre, uh, many people just stay inside their houses, may lockdown, so they are compelled to read books just to, of course, kill time. But then, uh, they realize that uh, reading is truly something. Actually, yung isang nga pong kahalala happened to be my boss, si Mondaser. Um, itong pandemic, na-realize niya that he would like to collect books, especially into crime and Sherlock Holmes. So, yun po. Hi, boss! Kamasa po sa'yo. So, yun po. Um, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, book haul for tonight. I'm really thankful to one of my new subscriber. I would like to make mention of Charlene Baranya. Shout out to you, Charlene. Thank you so much because of your admiration to the advocacy. I believe you have your own advocacy also. I just watched two of your videos, but she is actually a YouTuber. I will just give you the link of her YouTube account. So she's a beauty vlogger, but then what makes her more beautiful is the fact that she is now sharing tips on how to uh, buy or um, avail some cloth diapers because she's already a mother and yun, nakakatawa actually ako gustong gusto ko na maging mother na may asawa, syempre yun, gusto ko talaga rin kasi parang alam niyo yun, parang iba yung feeling na parang nabayaran ko na yung nanay ko though hindi naman niya nire-require pero parang if I will endure something like what my mother uh, endured when uh, she was giving birth to somebody like me <laughs> so parang gusto ko ma-experience din yun and uh, gusto ko talaga mag-girl ng baby and family. That's my dream also. Pero yun nga, bago tayo mawala, bago tayo ma-lose track with all the things. So, yun, Charlene Peranya, thank you, thank you, thank you talaga. Because you're a special person who's um, pushing me to pursue my advocacy. Salamat po ng marami po. Thank you so much. But for uh, all of you out there who's still supporting me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially, shout out again. Uh, Deary Erica from my always from abroad. Thank you so much. Uh, she made mention of my channel because she has this reviews and reading blog about Six of Rose. One of my favorite na rin talaga. So, Erica, thank you, thank you. So, yun nga po. Ang dami ko talaga sinasabi. Ang dadal ko kasi na-miss ko talaga po ang lahat. Book haul. And my favorite go-to shop. Uh, na talagang cheaper ang prices, affordable ang prices ng books, but then with substance. They offer great books talaga if you will just give time and then um, truly search, read blurbs, read synopsis, read plots, then you will know book sale is the best policy. So, book sale! Ilang best na ba ako nagsasabi sa inyo that I can be your model? free pa ha, but you can just give me books, okay? Pero yun nga po, I have lots of books here. Tons of books that I will introduce. Actually, uh, I started collecting these books. Um, when, um, I think sa Kabite, nagkaroon na ng uh, general community quarantine, na-open na yung mga mall. Talagang unang pinagdaan ko ang book sale because I truly love book sale, book sale, book sale. Okay? So, I cannot O si, i-carry ko na lang yung kaya kong i-carry pero kanina I tried my best pero hindi talaga eh. Pero ito yung ilan. Ilan pa lang to ha. So I truly hope I can give a meaningful description of each book. Okay. 
Pero uunahin ko na yung isa sa pinaka-favorite ko na middle grade book. I cried, I laughed when I read this. Freak the Mighty. So, I bought this for only 10 pesos. Freak the Mighty is about this two kids. Isa na humongous, big yung body, pero may small brain. Siya yun, si Max. And then, the other one, si Freak. Ayan. Kaya nasa taas niya. So, he has this frail body, small body with big brain. So, he's very smart. He's very intelligent. So, they complemented each other. Okay? Uh, they were outcasts during their time in school. Pero, syempre, napapatunayan din naman kung ano yung worth na ng dalawa in the long run. Pero, yun nga po. Uh, I can't spoil everything. Pero, talagang, tatawa kayo at iiyak. At ang maganda pa, si Frick, since uh, this character was created with intelligence, he even has his own dictionary. So, may mga lingo or terminologies dito na nandito yung parang glossary sa likod. Okay? So, this is a must-read book. Freak the Might. Next, since, you know, I'm a, boon, I'm a lover. Obvious. You can see my fairy lights. I will call it fairy lights. My, but I have this Christmas lights in warm light na moon, crescent moon. I truly love crescent moon because it's a smiling moon. Whenever I feel so lonely and sad, I just look on the moon above and I truly love crescent moon because it's like, it's smiling back at me. Okay? And, ito pa o. Oh. I have my new pair of earrings. This is moon. Pero ang maganda sa kanya, Korean kasi, it has star also on the other side. Okay? So, mga kikay mod lamang po. So, ito nga po. Uh, a cool moon light by Angela Johnson. This book is hard bound and I just bought is bought this for 20 pesos only. The story is narrated in verses and then as I read the blurb, it seems like this girl here, she can just go out during the evening or during the moonlight and she doesn't have the schema of walking under the sunlight. But I still don't know the plot itself. Okay, so since I love collecting books with moon in the title, this one is a steal for me. Next, I saw the appearance of the cover and I fell in love with it. Okay, maybe a novel by Caroline Star Rose. As I read the plot, it seems like there is this girl who happened to be um, entrusted with a neighbor. Para kasi meron pinunta niyong kanyang father and uh, she was promised na babalikan siya hanggang Christmas. Kaso nga lang yun nga, nagkaroon ng problem, ng, um, ng disaster, parang ganun yata. And so, she just uh, lived all by herself. Okay, so, ano niya in-endure yun? Okay. I don't know if this book has the Christmas setting also or timeline kasi ano eh may winter effect oh so during para alam niya para may symbolism kasi eh um she's all by herself winter time we know if it's winter it seems like very sad very gloomy you're all by yourself she's just she's just young diba? so parang mm, nakakasad siguro to so I will just know okay I bought this for 10 pesos only. Imagine that. I love a book which has this club theme. Kasi pagka club, ano eh, especially pag book club theme, yan, gusto ko yan. Kapag nakita ko kasi na yung isang cover, uh, if a girl is uh, holding a book, or it seems like it has this theme of the protagonist having this liking to book reading, Gusto, gusto ko yan. So, ang title ko ito, The Romance Readers Book Club by Julie L. Cannon. Okay, you know. Kita naman, diba? So, I just grab it immediately. I bought this for only 35 pesos. So, I'll just read the synopsis. Bored with her sheltered life in Rigby, Georgia, 15-year-old Tommy Lynn Elko senses a cure for her restlessness when she acquires a stack, a pile, a forbidden romance novels. Siguro medyo sensual yung mga romance novels na ito. Eluding the watchful eye of her granny Elko, Tammy forms a secret book club with two girlfriends and her eccentric Aunt Mina, 
reading about a week in the knees, passion, and sharing their own stories of love and heartache. So, na kaya na secret book love talking about this forbidden romance novels. Then, Rigby is just in, de- in a devastating drought. Local preachers are quick to proclaim sin as a reason, forcing Tammy to come to terms with her turbulent feelings and the strict expectations of the community. I don't know if this girl is a Christian. That's why they are very conservative about sa pagbabasa ng mga forbidden romance novels. Pero parang coming of age uh, novel to. Okay? So, I just don't know. I will just give it a try. Very interesting kasi. Coming of age, the age of innocence. But this time, in this classic novel by Edith Wharton, the person who will be coming out of the innocence is this man here. Actually, there is this parang adulterous act here. So, parang um, forbidden love affair between two persons. One is married already. I think that's the woman. So, yun. Controversial. I just uh, remember one book also by this author. Teka lang po. I bought this. Imagine, oh. Okay. Ganda, di ba? I bought this for only 50 pesos. So, ano yung naalala kong book? Teka lang po. Where is that? Very random yung pag-introduce ko po ng books with you. But then, I truly hope that you could have this idea that there are just so many books out there in book sale. Just go to the nearest book say that you have and then just uh, enjoy your stay there by looking some good and great books. So, ito by Anita Shrape. Okay? Anita Shrape has this novel entitled Fortune's Rock. Uh, yun parang coming of age din yun and medyo sensual naman. Kasi dun sa Fortune's Rock, uh, yung girl naman doon, yung bata, very young and innocent but then she fell in love with the doctor, happened to be mature than her, and then the doctor introduced her to sexuality. Okay? So, same also with this, Age of Innocence, I think, medyo magkapareho sila. Kasi yung doctor dun ay married din. Okay? That's controversial. It's like the doctor ruined the life of the girl. Pero, nabasa ko na siya. Hindi naman, um, Siguro it happens like that. Okay. But yun, si Anita Shrape. Ayan, another book I bought. So, this one, The Age of Innocent by Edith Wharton. 50 pesos. Then, Anita Shrape. I bought this also from Book Sale. Same time with that. Uh, this is entitled, Where or When. Very interesting. Bakit? Ito. Who hasn't dreamed about reuniting with one's first love? Where or when indulges the fantasy, then sets it afire. This is a seductive ring by Voyage. So, sabi rito ang question sa synopsis. What would you do if, out of the blue, you received a letter from your first love? So, meeting again the first love after 30 years, I think so. And then, mararikindal yung passion between these two. This man and woman. So, so Anita Shreve, uh, she has this um, writing style of creating sensual scenarios na hindi nakakabastos. Okay? Pero may impact. Promise. I don't know kung meron din dito. Kaya ayan, binili ko po siya for only... I, I already uh, removed the price tag but originally it's a $13 US dollars diba such a steal na kasi I think nabili ko lang siguro to mga 35 pesos also Anita Shreve uh, she is the author also of the pilots I have here a hardbound actually I'm not into a genre like this one but then I'm just interested with the synopsis with the, with the plot so this is Ian Rankin Rankin's A Question of Blood I think this is the 14th book on the series. There is this horrific shooting incident at a private school just north of Edinburgh. Two 17-year-olds killed by an ex-army loner who has gone off the rails. So, yun, um, tragic, diba? Kaya ako siya binili kasi nga, especially nowadays, alam naman natin na 
very controversial with regards to the military or something like that. Okay, lalo ngayon may mga issues na rare tagging. Okay po. But then, as one of the citizens of the Philippines, be vigilant. Think critically. Listen critically. Okay? And watch some of the hearings in the Senate. Pero yun nga, going back here, uh, yun, so may ex-army loaner na eh, nagbabarel dun sa private school nangyayari to sa America. Diba? Nangyari na to. Very tragic. And yun nga, ex-army siya. And ngayon, a man who finally turns the gun on himself. As Detective Inspector John Rebus puts it, there's no mystery except the why. But this question takes a rebus into the heart of a shattered community. Ex-army himself. So yung detective dito is an ex-army also. Rebus becomes fascinated by the killer and finds he is not alone. So meaning to say, hindi lamang pala nag-iisa yung shooter na yun. So what could be the reason why he did that? Kaya yan, a question of blood. Kaya napapatanong din ako. Gusto ko siyang basahin. And not into crime or detective fiction. Sherlock Holmes nga lang na gusto ka na dahil kay boss. Pero ang ganda ng color, oh. It's green. Nice one. So I bought this for 25 pesos. Such a steal. Grabe. Okay, I think Ian Rankin has high ratings and good rates. Next, I have here, ta-da! Much Ado About, and when I saw this, remember, I mentioned a while ago that if I saw the picture in the cover has this person holding book or books, at first glance, alam ko na talaga na bookish or book lover yung protagonist or pwedeng may theme ng books or reading. Tapos nakita ko pa, and tapos color orange, they symbolize something. I really thought, agad, without without reading first the plot na parang feeling ko, may kinalam to kay Anne of Green Gables, which happened to be my most favorite children's classic. You know, I truly really love Anne of Green Gables. Love her. So, theory talaga. Love na love ko si Anne of Green Gables. So, yun. Tama nga ako, okay? So, the mother-daughter book club. Much ado about Anne. I think this is the second one. This is from Heather Vogel Frederick. I bought this for only 10 pesos. I read the synopsis. The mother-daughter book club is back. In palang eh, book club palang. So, catchy na for me. And this year, the mothers have a big surprise in store for Emma, Jess, Cassidy, and Megan. They've invited Snooty. Becca Chadwick and her mother to join the book club. Okay, ang kit no. Um, if I will become a mother, I will definitely inspire my daughter or my son into reading. Kasi yun yung advocacy ko talaga. Okay, nakakatuwa, de ba? But there are bigger problems when Jess finds out that her family may have to give up Half Moon Farm. Kita man ng pal ng ng farm Half Moon. Kita lang Ano ako, parang um, talagang sumabog ako when I read the plot of this one. In a year filled with end of Green Gables, mention, skating parties, a disastrous mother-daughter camping trip, and a high-stakes fashion show, the girls realize that it's only through working together, Becca included, that they can have Half Moon Farm. This sequel to the Mad Their Daughter Book Club by acclaimed author Heather Vogel captures the magic of friendship and the scripts along the way it will enchant daughters and mothers alike. So, yun. Gusto gusto ko lang kasi na mention ng Anna Pintipo. So, collection ko to together with my end series na kompleto ko na. I truly hope that I could have a vlog wherein I will introduce each book from the eight uh, books na part ng Anne series, Anne of Green Gables series. Okay? At, ayan sila. Since, uh, we know that this person was one of the fathers of fantasy, especially to children, who among you loves Narnia? Raise your hand. Me, me. I love Narnia so much. I love Aslan. Okay? So, I have here a book from the author. It's my lolo ko. The Spirit of C.S. Lewis. So, C.S. Lewis. This is a year of readings from his life and work. Ang galing, diba? So, naka-landscape siya. Hardbound. Okay. Yun nga lang po, if you will be buying from book sale, definitely, you will be getting books with flows. But if you would like to give it a new home, why not 
and if it is still readable, why not, right? With affordable prices and just imagine the people who touch and read this and how many scenarios in their lives this book had witnessed, silently witnessed. So you can just imagine that, right? So for 10 pesos only, so a year of readings from his life and work. So yun nga, may January, March, okay. So ayan po. So for only 10 pesos, such a see for the new lovers out there. Naku, parang kaya nyo pa ba? Okay? Ang dami-dami pa. Pero, siguro I'll cut this na lang muna since uh, I don't want you to get bored and you might leave me <laughs> talking here. Pero siguro I'll just introduce two books that I will be giving away. Okay? Um, these two books actually were authored by the same one, by the same writer, happened to be a half Filipina, and it's Melissa de la Cruz, Return to the Isle of the Lost, the second in Descendants novel, okay? The seven, Descendants series, the second in Descendants series. 45 pesos only, hardbound, ang ganda pa niya. And then Masquerade from Blue Bloods series okay hardbound also for only 25 i bought this one so yun um i just realized that i'm not really into vampire fiction um kaya hindi ako naging fan talaga nila bella and edward though i watch i think a uh, film one and film two enjoy ko naman pero hindi talaga ako avid uh, fan of it even mga other stories with vampires hindi talaga ako avid fan i will just hand this to a person who's into vampire fiction. And kung kayo rin ay fan ng mga Disney villains, children, okay, and if you love uh, Descendants novel, I'll give this to you also. So, these books will be handed to anybody. So, ngayon, ang good news, hindi lang po taga-habite. Anywhere in the Philippines can just ask me this book, how to do it. Please follow me in my Instagram account at Girl. okay? So I'll just give you the link also of my account in the description box. So just send me a direct message and tell me why do you want to have these books, okay? So anywhere in the Philippines, I could have means of giving these books to you kahit malayo po kayo. And I truly hope na lang na Ano na, uh, both of the books will be uh, rehomed. Okay? Magkasama na lang po sila. So, yun po. So, yun po muna yung mga books na introduce ko. Pero yun nga po, uh, I just like buying books from book sale. And I just love discovering new books from them. Discovering great authors. So, give it a try. Um, there are just so many um popular bookstores in the Philippines but uh, if well iba rin kasi yung feeling na bago yung libro but remember if these new books that you have you will not read them then it will be nonsense right so okay lang if you will be buying free love books then if you will find the book very beautiful and you're very into it then this is the time that you will buy a new one or another version of it another from another uh, publishing house okay so that's all thank you so much for dropping by and um finishing this vlog until the end i truly hope that i will be consistent in my advocacy and i will be consistent in doing vlogs so inspire me encourage me a lot uh Thank you so much, everybody. Okay? God bless your hearts. More power. Merry Christmas. 